hello you guys what is up and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another expense tracking video uh where we kind of go over what i spent this past week so this was my expense tracking from the first week of june and i have a blank sheet right here that we're going to use for the second week of june and then we're going to go through total everything up uh for the second week and then yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. This is the monthly recap that we will do at the end of the month. And then we'll have obviously two more weeks of expense tracking. But for now, that is what we are going to be doing today. So put these aside for now. And then we're going to get started, you guys. Um, so we left off on the 8th so we're gonna start with the 9th obviously so we have and we're just gonna go through my basically my um checking account and i do not uh, kind of a brief background i do not do any kind of cash budgeting anymore for my um variable expenses my daily spending my wallet situation i just swipe my debit card um, use my buffer and then every time I get paid, I just put the buffer back to the amount I like to have it at. So um, I track my eating out, spending gas, and grocery. I'm debating on not tracking bills in the future months, but for this month, I am going to continue to track the bills. But um, I'm focusing mostly on my daily spending, what's coming, what's coming out of my checking account, basically. Um, so yeah, I don't do a cash budgeting system for my daily spending. I just swipe my card, keep track of it, and replenish my buffer whenever I get paid again. I'm trying out this method. I think I'm liking it so far, but we'll see. So because I used to do cash spending, um, but just my lifestyle, it's not working out anymore. So I'm trying this out and seeing if I like it. And this method right now is forcing me to really... Be hyper aware of my spending, which is what I need, honestly. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, six, nine, we had spending. And I did go to Ross. And I got, um, oh, this was kind of a big one, you guys. This was bad. This was 70 to 40, oops nine and we did get a new bedspread comforter for our bed because we were redoing our room if you guys saw my last video um, we were redoing our room so i got a new comforter and then i got two new pillows for our bed like sleeping pillows because our pillows are just so flat and bad so we've been trying to slowly replace them so did kind of spend a lot of frost i forgot that was a big transaction there so okay that wasn't that's not very good but Anyways, next we went to Sonic, which Sonic should literally sponsor me at this point because I go there very often. But I spent three seventeen, and that was eating out. And I am tracking all of my like fast food as eating out, even if it's just a drink instead of spending, because I want to track or see how much I'm spending on specifically eating out. Okay, so that was all I had for the ninth. Then for the 10th, I did have an Amazon, which was um, a new bed skirt for our bed, which was $24.89. And I was like literally debating on getting a new bed because I hated how it was so exposed underneath. You could see the metal of the bed frame was just so ugly. So instead of getting a new bed, I wanted to try out a bed skirt and actually really 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 like it um so i will not be getting a new bed it looks way better now um and we are, already have a headboard that i like so i'm chilling on the bed saved us a lot more money from buying a new bed and the bed skirt just makes it look so much more uniformed and just cleaner i love it so much so that was 25 dollars, and i took that out of spending that was all i had on the 10th and then on the 11th, we did have a bill come out, which was our electric bill. And that was $150. Oops. Mm. 
150.15. And yeah, that was our electric bill. It was really high this month because it's summertime. So yeah, all right. So, but that is, um, I save for our bills in my binders. So that is fully covered. That's not coming out of my buffer. Well, technically it did come out of my buffer, but I'm gonna be paying it back with the money that I already have saved in my binder. So that won't be taken out of my next paycheck, if that makes sense. Anyways, that's all I had on the 11th. On the 12th, um, okay. So I have one charge for Amazon. And that was for, I'm categorizing it as spending, even though it wasn't really anything like that. I got a pack of toilet paper shipped to our house because we were like literally out and I knew I wasn't going to be going to the store the next day because our landlords were coming over. So I just had it Amazon to us and actually it was like pretty cheap. So I got a lot of toilet paper and I also got a two pack of cups for our baby um like two new straw cups for him so that total was 1837 so i didn't think that was too bad and i did it out of spending even though it was kind of like household stuff so anyways the next thing i did was go to sonic and that was 317 this is so bad i go to sonic way too much and that was going to be eating out Okay, so that's all I had on the 12th. Then on the 13th, this was, this was a little much. This was a little much today, okay? So, mm, okay, so we went to Ross. Again, I need to stop going to Ross. I spent $13.90 and I got two photo albums and a pair of shorts for myself, um, like athletic comfy shorts. And um, they're actually the brand Athleta, which is a really nice brand. And they were like $8. So that was really good. Um, this is going to be spending. And I got two photo albums and they're so freaking cute. I am obsessed with them. Um, I love printing out pictures for our family. And I can't pass up a, a good photo album because they're kind of hard to find. And on Amazon, they're all expensive and ugly. So I either get them at thrift stores or like Ross or I, I, that's all. I, I did find some on Amazon one time that I kind of like. But anyways, that's what I bought at Ross that day. And then we also went to Pop Shelf, which that place is really fun, but it's the same way for me, like as five below, is that I always find stuff in there I don't need. But I did get two things that I kind of did need. Um, I got a glass cleaner for our mirrors and stuff because we were out and I saw it there and I was like, oh, we need that. Um, and it's the Method brand. So that was like $4. And then I did get a pair of sunglasses for myself because my other ones broke because I sat on them and those were like $5. So I spent eleven ten, which I don't think is too bad. Um, because one was a literal cleaner and then sunglasses. So I feel like that's pretty good. And then here's where it's not good. We went to Target and we spent our $65.86. And we did get some stuff for the house. We got creamer, uh, coffee creamer, cottage cheese, and milk. And then I got a new foundation because mine was completely out. And then I did get some, I got a case of beer. So that was kind of bad. So we spent $65.86 and I'm going to do that for spending as well. Even though we got a couple grocery items, most of it was beer and my foundation. So, which could be taken out of my self-care envelope, but I'm just, uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. So that's what I spent on the 13th. And then... Um, let's see. Then on the 14th, we went to Five Below. Which sometimes when my boyfriend gets off work, we just want to like venture out and like go somewhere. So we go to like Ross, Pop Shelf, Five Below, just to like look around and like 
get out of the house, but I always end up spending money. Like I literally always end up spending money. So I bought a, a bag, which is actually really cute. And I did not need it, but I literally couldn't leave it there. So I had to buy it. So it was 640 like after tax and everything. So that is going to be spending. My spending is going to be so bad this week, especially because this comforter up here. Um, and then I did go to Sonic again. That's so bad. Again, 573 and that is eating out. Okay. And then the last thing was on the 15th, we went to Aldi. I literally can't spell right now. And this was a lot, but I did buy groceries and it's going to last us like a long time. We spent 183.42 and that is grocery. And like I said, that's gonna be at least a week and a half, two weeks worth of groceries. So I'm good on that. So even though that was a lot of money, um, it's gonna last us a while. So that is all the spending that I did for the second week of June. So now what we're gonna do is highlight everything and then we are going to do the same thing I did right here. We're gonna total up each category. So we have bills, grocery, gas, spending and eating out. Oh my God, I literally cannot write. All right, so eating out and then we have our total which this is gonna be another week that's like kind of high. Okay, so bills, let's see. We only have one bill this week, which is our electric bill, which is the highest bill that I pay for. I pay for all the bills besides rent and like health insurance. So this was a really high one this week. So 150.15. All right, and then grocery, I only had one main grocery trip, which is good. I didn't go a bunch of times like I did last week. So this is gonna be 183.42. This is already really high. I did not get gas this week. Did I get gas last week? Yes. I really don't go that many places, so that's why you won't really see me spending a lot of money on gas. Um, so we actually have nothing for gas this week. Spending, oh my gosh, I'm scared to do this one. <sighs> so spending, let me get my calculator. Okay, so 72.49. And then we have, oh my gosh, plus 24.89 plus 18.37. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Plus 13.90 plus 11.10 plus 65.86. Oh my God, plus 640. Oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. 213.01. To be fair, 73 of that was spent on redoing our bedroom, but still that is so bad. Okay, and then lastly is eating out. So 317 plus 317, which is literally all Sonic, plus 573. So total, that's not bad because we didn't really go out to eat that much because um, we've been focused on eating at home. So at least that's a bonus, but that's really bad. So in total, we spent 183.42 plus 213.01 plus 12.07. So that's our variable is 408, which is 
pi plus 150.15 is with the bill. So we spent 558.65. You are shitting me. That's bad. And a lot of people said not to include my bills in this, which I probably won't next month because that's not variable spending. But yeah, that's really bad. So what is this 9 through 15? Okay. All right, well, now that I'm sick to my stomach, um, that's what we spent for the second week of June. Yay. So next week I'm going to do a, I'm going to focus on literally not spending money. So that's fun for me. Luckily we won't need a lot of groceries because I did it that big shop now. So hopefully we will be good, um, for, you know, the next week and not to spend a lot of money, but yeah, I spent way too much money the second week of June, so yay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. L please let me know down below how y'all are doing with your budgets. I would love to hear. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week with the updates for next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.